Hello, it's Jay Martin. Thank you for watching TW Replays. We have a scenario battle here, which is a thing that I think is really cool. Asterix, really weird. Battle of Moscow. I do not have this in my game, so I'm not sure where this is coming from. Our player is the renowned madman General Corbo, who's playing the French side. And I really like the scenario battles, and I feel like I don't play them enough, or maybe you play them against the AI so you don't play them in multiplayer. Maybe they're not balanced very well in multiplayer. Something to think about. Uh, so Battle of Moscow. I've never seen this before, and I'm confused why I haven't. Uh, but it looks like Corbo spawns with four units of uh, Shooter Cav down there. And I think, looking at this, the Russian player kind of has a plan. Or the Re Russian player has done this before. Eh, I always get that wrong. There's a bit of a hill here. And I think the Russian player wants to do that. And the way this scenario unfolds, minimap helps. The rest of Corbo's army shows up. And what you're going to watch, and we can fast forward through this period, is the sort of development period. Now, both players have artillery here. I want to say, I've watched this a few times. The Russian player has a handful of uh, horse artillery. And not being much of an artillery expert myself, Corbeau has three 12-pounders versus something like four or five horse or four? I can see four. Some horse artillery. But the Russian, you know, if we look at the terrain here, the Russian gets to occupy a pretty interesting hill and they get to start shooting. Artillery just rut cap, man. Just rock them. So Corbeau has a problem. You know, we have to assault this hill. How do you put that together? I think he accomplishes this with a combination of blunders by the opponent and well placed attacks on his own side. Uh, we're watching the opponent just shoot our, our artillery at him. And that's a good idea. You see how Corbeau's places artillery below the um, slope of the hill there? Artillery really wreck calves, so that seems like a pretty good defensive move. And then what he's doing is trying to get his... <clears throat> infantry here to be relevant. It's going to be a while before that happens. So what are these? These are all fusiliers. Okay. But he wants to get something coming from that direction, it looks like. And this is a straight-up camper game. Like, all the people who post the comments, how do you be campers, how do you be campers? This this is a camper game. Um, his artillery aren't even set up to shoot yet. <clears throat> I love how in this scenario game, there are just odd numbers of people in each unit, like we have 151, we have 138. Okay, sure. Where'd the shooter cap go? Oh, we're back here. Okay. Hold down blue dots, show you what we're thinking. Um, artillery are going after their artillery. Already knocked one gun out, looks like. I 
I imagine... See, the game is weird, because a 6-inch shell, I don't know how that compares to a 20... or a 12-pound shell. In terms of the damage that it does. Okay, so we get a position here. What I think it... So, from the defender perspective, their artillery seems really important, right? And what I'm noticing is that I, I think if I was going to protect my artillery, you want infantry in front of them. And the Russian player doesn't seem to do that. So, like... There's three artillery units, but nothing's in front of them down there. That that seems a little odd, like... <clears throat> Especially because the artillery are on an elevation, you could easily put infantry below them, but that doesn't happen. Corvosh Cav are moving. Maybe he thinks Canister can handle it, and it looks like Canister is happening right here. Okay, there's the fifth unit that I missed. Cat is on the keyboard. Yep. So what does he do? So Corbo just kind of moves up generally here. The no. Oh, wow. That's a really impressive move order. Everybody's just going up here. Okay, so now the infantry comes down. What is that? First Regiment of Foot Musketeers. A side note, a thing I actually kind of like about these scenario battles is all of the units have unique names. You know, where the 59th Regiment of Foot. Like, that's just kind of cool. So the cab all come in. So Cor Corbeau seems to be going all in kind of on these these artillery. Meanwhile, his own artillery aren't firing. Explain that one. The move here with the infantry, that's probably fine. Yeah, that, that's fine. Uh, um, camper people. Uh, the mistake you're making here is you had kind of two sides, right? Like, this is one, two, three, four, five, six. You have six units here facing that direction that aren't doing anything because you're... Because your opponent attacked from one axis, like you had created a little L, so camper people, it's time to make these units relevant. Alright, so we've got some cab coming in now. I, I think all those artillery are gone. Yeah, the horse come in. I think this is just a big camper failed, like, uh, Corbeau came on the north axis, camper dude was like, oh, I didn't know you could do that.
And if you're one of the people that struggles with playing against artillery, the corporal just kind of ignored them, which is my usual advice. No, we're idle. Doesn't even need them. Oh my gosh, look at this. This unit just straight up melees, like. <clears throat> when Corpo um, emailed, I, I don't recall if he emailed it or submitted it on Discord, but he used the phrase, no violence of action. We've all watched Generation Kill. Against an opponent that wants to camp, doesn't move, your best bet is just get in there and shoot at them. If they want to camp behind... What is this? Yeah, okay. But I, I believe the Russian in the end had five total units of... Horser, they didn't do a whole lot with. If they're in, don't maneuver. If you're a girl, you should be able to plan. And this is a scenario of battle where um, Corbor was given three units of 12 pounders and just kind of, I don't need them. They might come in handy now. So th this looks a little close. But what he has done is he's made the um, defending artillery irrelevant. And I guess if I hit pause and hovered over every individual unit, we'd say Corbo has more men in them. I think we might... Eh... We might be taking a, advantage of a terrain feature here. This unit can probably fire over the back of that unit. I suppose the cab is all dead. No, there's one. No. Seems like... Um, I want to argue a poorly designed map like if you give the defender that hill then that's just kind of where they're going to go and this exact thing is going to play out the same way every time I'm not going to criticize Corbo for not using his gap but, or artillery excuse me but definitely these dudes could have walked forward a little bit. He feels he doesn't need them. Which is fine. Yeah, we're out in some units here. So this is weird. So this was called the Battle of Moscow. And clearly a scenario game, which for some reason I don't have. Can't explain that. But okay. I don't really have any comments on how the uh, individual infantry fights played out. But what I liked about this game was how. Um, he just moved in very quickly. It's kind of a classic template of how you play against a camper. Maybe made some sacrifices to get in there and beat the artillery. Or just, just get rid of them. You don't got to worry about it anymore. What are you? Your horse artillery unit with five men in it. Nine men. 
Okay. Worth chasing out with the general, apparently. Uh, speaking of Corbeau, this dude, we featured some videos of his innovation on how to do the center on on grassy w w with the big very narrow French shit and then I was talking with Gold the other day and Gold was like how about we do a double corbo on a 4v4 and I was like dude you kind of just blew my mind like I really gotta visualize what that looks like and so hopefully that's something we can try out and get to you and again my brain's still just kind of like scrambled eggs here like Double Corbo, 4v4, like how do we do that? But anyway, thank you for watching. Uh, that was Corbo's Battle of uh, Moscow. Uh, take care of yourselves, take care of each other. If you want, you can join us on Discord, maybe meet some people, that sort of thing. And other than that, have a great day, have a great week. I'll catch you in the next video.